Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy BQ with the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. What it is and what it do. I got a couple minutes available this morning. I wish I could have talked on this a couple days ago. The wanted to give a real, real quick reaction to Lady Frost requesting her release from Impact Wrestling. There's a lot of conspiracy theories going around Impact Twitter on what is, you know, where did this come from? Uh, you know, there, there's some people saying, well, she's injured. There's supposed to be surgery. Uh, there's some people are saying, well, she probably have issue creative. There's some people that are saying, uh, I think she was under the impression her husband would get a look from Impact that hasn't appeared to happen, at least not on television anyway. Uh, but, but he does work with NWA. So there's a lot of things out there. She put out a very professional tweet, um, you know, where people feel that, okay, well, she's leaving on really, really good terms. Just because someone puts out a tweet like that and it's professional, it doesn't necessarily mean the terms were that good because, you know, a lot of people don't want to burn bridges. Um, a lot of people don't want to come off on social media as hateful, spiteful. Uh, so, you know, it means she's a professional. Uh, I met her once in real life. Real, real cool girl. A lot of us were real excited when she decided to come to Impact Wrestling. Real, real excited because she is super talented. I've always said that the girl is a star, and I, I, I say that. I, I'm real careful with my words when I say that about someone, but I've always felt like she was a star. Like She was really destined for uh, really good things, and her talent level is unmatched. Her, her gimmick is just very original, very cool, no pun intended. So, of course, Impact Wrestling fans are super disappointed by this. This is really bad news for everyone. I feel like I kind of saw it coming when she did the multiverse of matches, tag team match with Giselle Shaw, and then you think they're going to do like the reluctant partner thing. It goes to television. We don't see Lady Frost again. We see Alicia kind of step into that role, and it seemed like she inherited the storyline. But then with this past episode of Impact, that wasn't necessarily the case. It, it looks like now they're breaking off from that. But initially it kind of seemed like they inherited the storyline and they might try to be doing something with Tanil and Giselle going forward, but that's neither here nor there. So it's, it's disappointing. This is someone that we really feel like future knockouts champion, absolutely. Someone who could really, you know, help cement this knockouts division because it, well, I mean, it's been cemented, but it's a tremendous division. It's just the, the best it's been in, in years. So we're all really disappointed by it. If I, you had to have my personal opinion, and this is no information from any sources or anything, I think that she was expecting to have her husband come aboard, and that didn't happen. That's, that's just, just, just an opinion. Maybe we're going to get the real answer one of these days. Or, you know, there might have been a bigger... A uh, bigger offer thrown to her, you know, maybe a little tampering going on, or maybe she's just, you know, gonna return to NWA where she found it to be a good fit for her. Who knows? She was a heel over there, and I always say like her heel work is is really excellent. I always thought she was like a little miscast in Impact, even though she was extremely extremely popular. So we're all disappointed. We're all really disappointed in this because she's not really someone you can just replace. You know, there's some girls you can just replace as far as up and coming talent, and she's, she's unique. So it's disappointing. I probably said disappointed, disappointing like 50 times throughout this, but you know, how else can we word it? The last point I want to make is, is a lot of the chatter I've seen on Facebook mostly is that, well, she, she, they didn't know what to do with her. She didn't have, you know, they underutilized her. I don't really see that. She came in from day one and got a storyline with Giselle Shaw. And I've always pointed out since I've ever been coming in, covering Impact that the storylines are always centered around the belts with the knockouts. You know, it's like very rare that they're outside of the, the championships, especially for someone new. They've had a lot of knockouts who have just walked through the door. Oh, they signed, had absolutely nothing to do with them, and then they were gone. Uh, not, not in recent memory, but it's happened in the past. So, I, I disagree with that because she had a storyline right away. She got some w good wins right away. 
She was in four title matches. I mean, the tag team match and multiverse of matches. She had a the the Ultimate X was first ever Ultimate X match. You know, title match. She had uh, two Ring of Honor women's title matches. I, I think she wrestled for the the uh, AAA title the first time, and then it was a triple threat with Giselle Shaw for the Ring of Honor championship. So you're talking about four title shots, first ever Ultimate X storyline immediately. So I have a hard time thinking, oh, the opportunity wasn't there because she was being utilized. I don't know where that comes comes from. So, of course, leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Converse amongst each other. Give yourself, uh, give your opinions and thoughts on Lady Frost and her impending departure. We don't know right now if Impact is actually going to release her or not. So that remains to be seen. I'm your boy BQ, and I'm out. Peace.